hello everyone how are you in this video i want to show you some new skincare ingredients i ordered and why i ordered them um i want to give you this very very important advice if you are making skincare products okay make sure you order your skincare ingredient fresh meaning do not order like a lot of skincare ingredients which you when you're not using them so make sure you order fresh ingredients for each uh skincare product you want to make because this remember the expiration date of your ingredients will affect the expiration date of your product so keep that in mind so what i do when i want to make custom skincare product for clients and even for um for people like you also is that i order a fresh skincare ingredient so i recently ordered some ingredients i will show you the ingredients i ordered and why i ordered them why i use them so one of the suppliers that I use to buy my skincare products is uh, Windy Point Soap. Windy Point Soap is located in Calgary, but uh, uh, this company started as a soap uh, manufacturing manufacturing company, right? But right now they they have retired that business. Now they are selling skincare ingredients. So I recently ordered this a couple of these ingredients. Here are they. I have a lot of powder that came in today. Oh, even if, if I haven't told you this, I do make custom skincare products. So if you have any skincare condition and you want a custom solution, right? You can count on me. So you can email me at uh, hello at uh, naturalskincarescoot.com. Um, now I'll give you advice and I'll tell you the best product for you and now I can make it. Okay, so the first product that I ordered uh, last week is foaming apple foaming apple is a very good ingredient when you are making is a very very good uh, surfactant okay is an um, anionic surfactant very mild it really really helps especially if you're formulating sensitive skin uh, product you can also use if you're making baby wash like the face wash or face uh, or body wash so it's very it's a very very good good uh, surfactant okay the inky name is sodium cococcyl apple amino acid is a very very i mean i can recommend it especially if you want uh, if you have a lot of skincare issue and you want it this is a very good surfactant to use another that i ordered is uh keratin hydrolysis silks this is a very good uh, active ingredient when you are making skincare product okay especially when you're making hair care product i do make hair care product too very very good um i'm very good at making shampoo so um this is one of the things that i use it really helps to make the hair okay not too stiff so if you have a very stubborn hair that's not manageable okay this very good um, active that you can use in the in the what's that face in the cool down face okay it's very good so that's my second ingredient the other one that i, that I ordered even though i don't use this much it's more of a synthetic chemical i do not use it the only time i use it okay is to check if because i make a uh, soap too okay i make very beautiful body soap or face or bath when you're when you're finished making your soap you can use this chemical phi no to check if your soap has cured i'm going to show you that in another video so that's why i'm i don't put this in skincare product it's a synthetic uh, product to check if your soap okay if your cold process soap has cured so that's another one that i ordered a friend of mine recently introduce me to this and really really help for you to determine the curing phase of your soap another ingredient i order is neosense emisqualin this product is very very good you ask me why do i use this uh, remember because we are in the natural sector we formulate a lot of skincare products uh, if you have used um olivem 1000 before you know we have a lot of problem with olivem 1000 soaping on us right i mean 
soap that silly soaping effect on the skin this uh, emisqualine really helps to reduce that soaping effect even though it doesn't take it off 100 percent but it also really really help to reduce the soaping effect and also if you do not want your product to be greasy okay if you do not want to if you're making a product that you don't want it to be too greasy you should uh, employ the service of emisqualine very good it's actually much much better okay than olive squalene. Olive squalene is still a bit uh, comedogenic. This is very, very good. The comedogenic rating of this is uh, zero to none. So these are very good ingredients that you should keep in mind when you are making uh, your skincare product. Also, I have a very good, good a new ingredient that I ordered this uh, last week. Um, a fellow from later told me about this amazing, amazing moisturizer. It's called B Pauline Liquid Extract, okay? It's a very, very good, good, good um, ingredient, especially when you want to nourish the skin. And here is, uh, it's an astrogen, also it has a mild moisturizing property. So you can use it in the, you can use it in the, uh, what do you call it, the cool down face. Very, very good. If you are making any uh, product for sensitive skin, this is something you want to include. So I haven't used it, but I will include it in one of my formulation as a friend of mine suggested, suggested. So here are my new, 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 new. So stay tuned on this channel. When I'll be using them, I will give you, I will show you how I use them. So stay tuned. Remember, click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. My next video, I will be recommending the best, best um, emulsifier to use in your skincare formulation to you so stay tuned for that remember click that subscribe button and the notification icon i have a lot of project coming on that's going to really help your formulation journey so do well to click that subscribe button um, and the notification icon before i go remember if you want to make skincare product do not do not hold a large amount for new formulator we have we we tend to get carried away okay new formulator tends to get carried away by ordering product like in bulk so do not make sure you hold that only the product that you want to use to make certain skincare products um, make sure you hold that them afresh it really helps it helps to lengthen the shelf life of your product remember in the natural sector our product doesn't last that much i mean the max it should last if it's truly natural is uh, one one year or even nine months to one year even some six months so keep that in mind thank you so much for watching